All right, Shalom. Right, it's the brother Arad and the brother Shamar from the GMS North Carolina Raleigh camp. Before we move forward, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who grew well. And a double shalom to all the Akim and Akwath who are truly and sincerely trusted in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, A. Hey, and, and that just leads me to the, to the point of the lesson, man. Trust and believe the Lord is going to care for his elect. You know, the Lord has always cared for his elect since the foundation of the earth, man. So we're going to see in these times, man, we're going to we're going to see miracles, different things taking place, man, because the Lord is going to what? Provide and care for his elect. All right. Who is the elect? We have the, the elect nation, which is the Israel, uh, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the chosen nation of people. And within the chosen nation of people, you have uh, an elect body. Okay, 144,000 men, the one third multitude, men, women, and children. Okay, now if you can get me, um, let's see, uh, St. John chapter. You got, one real quick. you got one? Yeah. Yep, bring it out. This is Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. Mm -hmm. Cast thy burdens upon your how about Shimia and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And who's the righteous? The elect, the hopeful elect we call ourselves. And that's a beautiful scripture, man. They, the, the, the hopeful elect is, you know, trusting and believing and seeking the Lord, hearkening to the word, rehearsing righteous acts to the best of our ability. Okay? And we're casting our burdens on Yahweh Shai. Okay? And Yahweh Shai is going to hear our cries. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to hear our prayers, man. And it tells you that uh, in um, Isaiah the 19th chapter. Lord's going to send forth a redeemer because he's hearing our cries and prayers. We're magnifying the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's speaking to the elect. Read that again, Baba Kasha. This is Psalm chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, man. Okay, and the Lord referred to us as worms, man. Fear not. Um, oh, matter of fact, get that for me, uh, Bubba Kasha. I think it's Isaiah, uh, the forty-seventh chapter. You know, let me see. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna get that, and I'm, I'll tell you exactly where it is. That just leads me to another precept. Um, yeah, Isaiah forty-one and fourteen. Yeah, Bubba Kasha. See, Lord referred to us as as worms, man. Okay. And he's going to provide for us. He's going to uh, keep us sustained in these times, man. You know? Hey, and the Lord has given us, the scripture says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The Lord is keeping us stable, you know, by giving us the word, man. Okay? The, the hopeful elect I'm speaking of. All right? When you get that, read that, uh, Bubba Kasha. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. Mm -hmm. And ye men of Israel. Yeah, fear not. Out. Yeah, fear not, thou worm Jacob. Okay? You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Fear not. Okay? We have a power who's controlling all things. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. These times the Lord told us exactly what's going to take place, and it's going to get it's going to get crazy out here, man. But the Lord is going to sustain us, man. We got to cast our burdens on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why we're storing up treasures uh, for the kingdom, man. In these times, calling on the Lord, seeking the Lord before all hell break loose. Because it's coming. Read on. It says, I will help thee, say of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The Lord is going to be our buckler, our shield. He's going to provide for us, man. Okay? There's a famine that's getting ready to take place, which is happening now. Okay? But it's getting ready to actually... Uh, turn into a full-fledged all-out anarchy out here man you know people are going to be homeless many different plagues the lord says he's going to bring in these times which he's doing now but the lord is still going to help us he's going to provide for us man we are not worrying about uh what, what what's going to take place here man because we're seek we're doing what's righteous man we're seeking the lord we know the lord is going to help us man just like he did uh the the, the, the elect in, in ancient times man okay the prophets elijah you know uh, uh, uh jeremiah Nahum, you know, all the prophets that was taken care of in ancient times, man. 
and they trusted and believed in Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and had integrity unto death. All right, now um, let me get uh, Psalm 33 and 18, if you will. <clears throat> yeah, because I meant Psalm to do chapter. Yeah, I meant to do a spirit. There's a famine that's going to take place, one of the plagues, and the Lord said he's going he's to provide for us, man. So read that for me. This is Psalm chapter 33, verse 18. Behold, the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahushai is upon them that fear him. All right, now who's fearing the Lord in these times? Who's fearing Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the hopeful elect? So the Lord is hearing the, the, the cries, the prayers of the righteous, man. Read on. Upon them that hope in his mercy. Who has hope in the mercy of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the hopeful elect? Who, who's having faith and believing that the Lord is going to provide for them? The hopeful elect. Okay? And the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our, our works and labor of love. Read on. It says, to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. Woo! To deliver their souls from death. So, you know, you're going to have the hopeful elect getting uh, put in sticky situations, man. You're going to have, you know... Men who, who are actually going to uh, face death because they're going to be martyrs for the truth, man. Okay, but even then, you know, you die with integrity, you, you get a seat on the chariot, man. You can say the Lord's going to raise up the dead first, man. Those who died for you, how about Shemiah was shot. Okay, and then there's there's men, or there's, there, there's the hopeful elect, which ultimately is going to be revealed who the elect is, who's not going to taste death, man. The Lord's going to deliver their soul from death. Okay. Read that on our last part again, Baba Kasha. Psalm 30, Psalm 33 and 19. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Yeah, and it's prophesied that famine is going to take place, which again, famine is happening now is uh, certain parts of the four corners of the earth. You got, you know, Jake down in uh, Venezuela, man. You got women who used to be lawyers and doctors selling their bodies for, you know, for, for a piece of bread, man. You know, you got different famine taking place in Haiti, all parts of, of across the four corners of the earth, and also here in America, man. But it's getting ready to turn up even more, just like uproars of the people is turning up. All these other plagues going to even uh, increase, man. But the Lord is still going to uh, give protection and help provide for, for the elect, man. Okay, just like he did uh, Daniel in the lion's den. Okay, the Lord sent forth uh, food to Daniel in the lion's den, man, and kept him shielded from the lions eating them. Okay? Just like he provided for uh, Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego in the um, fiery furnace. We're living in those times where we're getting ready to see miracles take place uh, out of this world that we, we never would imagine, man. Okay? The Lord is, showing, is getting ready to show his power on a whole nother level. Okay? Now, if you can give me on uh, St. John chapter 10, um, you can start at uh, 27. All right? Because um, the Lord has, is it, it, it's, it's obvious or when you read the scriptures and you study, the Lord is dealing with the elect, man. Okay? The chosen out of the chosen nation. Okay? Lord willing, we're part of that number. Yeah, when you this get... St. John. Mm -hmm. St. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yep. And hey, who's the sheep, man? The elect of the nation of Israel. The hopeful elect is what we call ourselves, man. They hear the voice of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. And the Lord is speaking through his men. Okay? And, and, and the hopeful elect is coming into the fold. That's why you see an influx of the nation of Israel coming into the fold, man. Because they, they you know, they're, they're hearing the word and they're believing, man. You know, faith come by hearing. And when they heard that we're the Israelites, they it clicked to them, man. All right? And they, and they started to inquire more and start to learn more. And that's why you see the influx of the nation of Israel coming in. Okay, this is all prophecy taking place, man. Read on. It says, verse 28, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, Woo. neither neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's right. So the Heavenly Father gave Yahweh, the Heavenly Father gave Yahweh, the only begotten Son, the elect, his elect, man. Reserve and, and specifically for him. And nobody can pluck the elect out of the Lord's hand. Okay? So, you know, all these times coming forth, man, 
this comforts us, man, knowing these things, knowing that we possibly may have a chance being uh, a part of that number. OK, because we're doing what the elect will be doing in these times, you know. So we pray that we endure unto the end. He that endureth to the end, to the, end the same shall be saved. So we don't even know if we're going to be saved, but we know we're doing what the elect will be doing. And we know that the elect is not going to be plucked out of Yahweh Shai's hand. Yeah, he's got he's got the elect in his hand. OK. Is that, was that 29? That was uh, 28. Read 29. Verse 29. My father, which gave them me, Woo. is greater than all. Read on. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. That's a reiteration, man. <laughs> the Heavenly Father gave him to Yahweh Shot, man. The Spirit had me mention that. And so you can't pluck out of Yahweh Shot's hand because it came from the Heavenly Father. So this is very comforting to know these things, man. To know that, you know, again, that there's going to be uh, the elect that's going to be shielded and protected in these times, man. You got martial law getting ready to take place. You know, the Lord, you can see the Heavenly Father is giving Esau the green light. Hey, they taking him out, man, on camera. Don't give a damn about it anymore, man. Because what? That, that insurrection is getting ready to happen, man. But the, the Lord said he's going to raise up a standard when Esau's coming in like a flood. Revelation 12 and 12 is getting ready to take place at a, at a higher scale. But who's controlling everything? How about Shemia was shy? Now, if you can give me um, 2 Ezra, the 16th chapter, okay, um, and start at uh, verse 70. I'm going to read St. John, the 17th chapter, uh, verse 9, uh, Slaki, verse 6. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, okay? Then thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Verse 7, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast givest me are of thee, okay? And that name has been, has been manifested, man. We're calling on true names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, when we lost our nationality, you know, um, pursuing uh, Jeremiah 17 chapter, I believe, verse 4, you know, we were discontinued from our heritage. We fell away, you know, uh, after uh, 70 AD. Okay, now we have uh, um, the Lord raising up, you know, the hopeful elect, and the Lord has given us his name. See, we've been calling on, you know, the name Jesus Christ, man. Ain't nothing been happening because that's not our Lord and Savior's name. We we were um, discontinued from our nationality. All right, but the Lord's having mercy on us and in times of the grace period. And you're seeing that the Lord is raising up the kingdom, man, because the kingdom starts within us as he's raising up the elect. You know, <clears throat> but so those names, the names have been given and that's a part of uh, deliverance as well. Confessing the names, magnifying the names of Yahweh Shemiah Bashai. And we just read that the Lord hears the, the cries and the prayers of the righteous. Who are the, 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 the righteous crying unto? Yahweh Shemiah Bashai. Okay, so this is all part of the story. Okay, it says, uh, verse 8, For I have given unto them the words with, which thou gavest me, and they have, re they have received them. And have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didn't send me. Verse 9, here's the point. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai is praying for the elect, man. The same one who he has in his hand that no one can pluck out. It just goes to show how much he cares about his elect. It says, but for them thou has given me, for they are thine. So the Lord ain't praying for the world. He ain't praying that world. That word world goes back to cosmos, which means a harmonious arrangement. So he ain't praying for all the nation of Israel. He's only praying for the elect amongst the nation of Israel. Okay. Which going back to uh, St. John, the 10th chapter, you know, I'm um, speaking of, you know, no man can pluck them out of my hand. So the Lord is praying for us, man. He's confessing us to the heavenly father. Okay. You got that second answer? Uh, huh, we going to read we're going to read that and then we're going to close off on Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter. But go ahead. The second Edges, chapter 16, verse 70. It says, For there shall be, it's like it, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear you. How about you? I was shot. So Esau, Edom, the so called white people, starting with the elites and, and their, their power structure, the military. They're gonna use they're gonna use all their weapons. They're coming with their big guns, man. They're coming in like a flood. 
You know, they're coming against all the nation of Israel. All right. But then they're also mainly coming against those that fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They're really coming for the elect, but they're also coming for the nation of Israel. Okay. Um, this is the insurrection, man. This is the, the flood that's coming. Okay. This is prophecy. Read on. They should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Hey, um, just like uh, in the times of Antiochus and Epiphanes. You know, hey man, this devil, he he's a he's a he's a madman. Okay, and it's already being revealed he's he's the wicked. So now he knows, look, the cat is out the bag, I might as well go all out. Okay? So he's coming in like a flood, man. And he knows those that fear Yahweh Shemiah Shai is not gonna take that chip, which is the R the, the R fighting chip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay? So he's gonna be looking to destroy those who don't hearken to his new world order. Okay? Read on. It says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay, read on. Then shall then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So how is it going to be known who is the Lord's chosen? Because the Lord is going to give heads of protection to the elect. So you're going to know exactly who the chosen are. Okay? You're going to know who the men that the Lord is dealing with. All right? The scriptures say, um, um, for my men shall be more precious than fine gold. Hey, man, that, that, that protection uh, you're going to see in those times, man. While everyone else is, is you know, who's not a part of the, the, the hopeful elect or the elect is going to be getting destroyed, man. And this whole insurrection that's going to take place in the near future. Read on. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, save Yahweh Shai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Mm -hmm. But I will deliver you from the same. So the days of trouble are at hand. I mean, we're moments away from these things taking place, man. The, the, the laws are put in place. You know, insurrection law, uh, Rex 84. I mean, we're so close to these things taking place. It, it, you know, it, it's it's obviously um, knocking at the door, man. Okay, but again, it's going to say insurrection is going to come in, but you're going to know who the chosen is. You're going to clearly know. It ain't going to be no mistake on who the chosen is, man. You're going to have angels uh, which are encamped around those who fear the Lord now. You may have angels. You're going to have angels revealing themselves, man. You're going to have um, birds or ravens you know, sending food to certain men. You're going to have men having spiritual powers, man. You're going to just have, you're going to see all types of things taking place that you ain't never seen before here, man, on the face of the earth. Okay? And you're going to know who the chosen are, man. Because why? The Lord cares for his elect. Yeah, there's going to be martyrs for the truth, but then these men are going to die with integrity. Okay? Um, we're going to end off on Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, um, verse 9. Anything you want to say? Con, con. Yeah, man, this is a um, this video is an exhortation for those who believe in Yahweh Yahweh Shai, those who truly have faith. Okay, you think the Lord is gonna let his his elect, you know, uh, uh, get destroyed completely, man? Scriptures say you can't pluck them out of his hand. You best believe the Lord is gonna care for his elect, man. His chosen. Got it. it wisdom Solomon three and what? Three and nine. Three and nine. Okay. <clears throat> this is wisdom of Solomon chapter three verse nine. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Yeah. So you got to put your trust in your house by Shemiah shot. You know. Hey, and, and you gotta have faith and believe in the Lord to even uh, understand the truth. You know, when the scriptures say, um, to us it, the gospel was preached as well as unto them, all right, but it wasn't mixed with faith, so it didn't profit them. So you got two thirds of the nation of Israel who don't have faith, so they don't understand the truth, all right. But faith is a gift. Now, who's who's receiving the gift of faith? The elect, all right. It's all it's all playing playing um 
you know, align with, with uh, how the Lord wants the, the, the movie to play out, man. Okay. But read that that uh, second part. It says, and such as be faithful in love. Mm -hmm. Read that part. And such, a, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him mm -hmm. for grace and mercy. For grace and mercy is to his saints. So grace and mercy is to his saints. So we're living in the times of grace. All right. Which grace period is given until all of the nation of Israel. But we know only the, the elect is going to take full advantage of the grace period. It's going to get right and seek the Lord, store up treasures in heaven. Okay? And mercy as well. Okay? But um, the saints goes back to the Israelites, man. That's who, the, that's, that's who the saints are. They're the Israelites. But read on. Hey, it's a particular um, people within uh, the nation of Israel that the scripture is speaking of. Read on. And he have cared for his elect. He have cared for his elect. All right. So the Lord cares for his elect, which is the chosen out of the chosen nation, man. The chosen people out of the chosen nation of Israel. I'm going to get for the word care and we're going to close out. Okay. The definition of care, it says the provision of what is necessary for the health, welfare, maintenance and protection of someone or something. Okay, it says safekeeping. Okay, Lord is going to preserve his elect, man. It's like you, you have, um, you know, certain preservatives, you know, that's stored away for special times, man. Okay, it says uh, safekeeping, supervision, uh, protection, guardian, guidance. All right, it says serious attention or consideration applied to doing something correctly or to avoid damage or risk. So the Lord's going to keep caution over the elect, man. Okay, in these times of uh, mercy and grace. All right, but two-thirds nation Israel, they're going to be destroyed, man. You know, on this side with these heathen nations, man. All right, anything you want to say? No. All right, so with that being said, hey, trust and believe the Lord is going to care for his elect. And we have to pray that we endure until the end so we can be counted as, Lord willing, the elect, man. All right? It's all about the elect. So with that being said, before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekakwadash. Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double my honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who will well. And a double shalom to all the Akim and Akwaf who are truly and sincerely trusting and believing in Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Shalom. Shalom.